Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on common cause failure and the methods to avoid common cause failure. This is part of the safety instrumented system and the video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. CCF possible problems. Protection against common cause failure aims to eliminate or reduce the root cause of equipment failure and or to eliminate failures between components. Examples to eliminate multiple instruments failure is to relocate the transmitters from same piping or to go for a different technology. In the pressure measurement, flow measurement, differential pressure measurement, there may be impulse tube tubings which is uh, going to the sensor. It may be shared in some cases whenever the safety instrument system requires two instruments to be used. This is done because of the piping configuration and the area of limitation etc. So which has to be avoided. So uh, working on any one transmitter may cause a disturbance to the second transmitter and it can lead to the tripping. According to IEC 61508, diversity in the measurement instrumentation is the best alternate to overcome common cause failure. But in practicality, it may be difficult to go in for diverse technologies due to limitation of installation, mechanical, piping and economics. Actually, IEC standards recommend to go in for a diversification. That means two different technologies for the same type of measurement. It would be ideal, but on practicality in the plants, the space may be limited and uh, putting multiple instruments on the same piping may be a challenge. So, which may have difficulty for the installation, maintenance and also the cost gets increased. So, this is also a main factor wherein there may be possibility of using multiple instruments using a same trapping. Also, the diverse technologies require different levels of skills to do the maintenance and keeping multiple spares. So, the different uh, the technology may call for a different kind of uh, experience to work and do the maintenance. So, the people may not be skilled enough to work on both type of instruments. So, that's a challenge for the operating plants to do the maintenance. And if there are different technology like one is a differential pressure type of measurement, another one is, one is a vortex flow measurement or it may be ultrasonic flow measurement. So, the different technologies will require to keep multiple spares to attend and do replacement or repair or replacement in case of any need. This is also a challenge and causing economic difficulty to the plant management. Okay, now we will go over the type of common cause failures and the techniques that can be adapted to overcome the common cause failures. Pressure and flow transmitters impulse line plugging. So, how to avoid this one? The engineering to take care of using independent impulse lines for transmitters. So, this is the one and secondly we can consider like diversified technology and uh, two transmitters are connected to one anubar flow element anubar is one type of flow measurement so if the two transmitters are connected to one anubar what will happen so design to take care of using separate flow elements as far as possible that's what the piping mechanical piping configuration allows and there is enough space in the plant area it is ideal to go for a different instrument. Two transmitters are connected to one orifice. This is for flow measurement, pressure measurement and differential pressure measurement. The two transmitters are connected to one orifice. There could be a possibility of choking and disturbance happening in both the instruments. So it is the how to avoid this one. It is recomm always recommended to use two transmitters using an independent orifice. Not wherever the piping isometric does not allow to install separate orifice, proper care to be done during maintenance. Suppose uh, there is a space limitation and the piping uh, distance limitation is also there. Flow sensors and flow orifice should be installed in such a way that they have to have a minimum upstream piping and minimum downstream piping. If this is not able to be achieved because of the space limitations and in the worst case the two sensor two transmitters are being shared. So the maintenance needs to take proper care to isolate the right instrument in case of any maintenance. Plugging prevents both final elements. This is on or false to reach safe position. Uh, design independent impulse line for different valves. Identify with proper tagging. From the instrument uh, air header the main instrument will be going to the valve to operate so such kind of tubing from the main air header to the valve 
shall be made independent. For valves that do not operate for longer intervals, select optimal valve type, move valve frequently as possible. Wherever possible, there shall be an arrangement to move the valves, move means to open and close the valves. Recommended to go with a partial stroke testing device. This is another te technology for the safety instrumented system valves concerned. So, the partial stroke te testing device will move the wall to certain extent. It will not, when the wall is open, normally the safety instrument system, the emergency shutdown walls will close based on the demand, based on the hazard conditions only. But if the walls are staying in the same position, for years together, there could be some chance of the wall stem getting sticky and whenever there is a real demand happening, it may not be able to close. So, to ensure that one, the valves operate at any time of emergency, we need to test it as frequently as possible based on the calculations done in the safety system. But additionally, we can go with the partial stroke testing device. This is an additional instrument to be placed on the on of walls actuator so which may move the ball little bit maybe five percent or ten percent from its full open motion to ensure that the ball can operate whenever any emergency arises changes in physical properties or ambient conditions influence both sensors temperature density conductivity dielectric constant etc these are the different parameters use alternative technology or calculate influence and apply the correction factors as far as possible. Whenever the physical properties like temperature is going to have an impact on the measurement or density is going to have an impact or conductivity is going to have an impact, we need to use an alternative technology of measurement or provide if the temperature is going to be a concern for the cold countries, we need to provide external heating arrangement or if it is going to be the density measurement issue, we will have to provide again insulation and keep the fluid temperature constant so that density will not have an impact on the measurement. So, the next one is electrical signal of both elements is influenced. If uh, two transmitters are going to be used to have a separate wiring, otherwise there may be possibility of uh, electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic influence, uh, low supply voltage etc. So, for this how to overcome the follow best wiring installation practices electrical and signal cabling to be laid in separate cable trays as we know the motors or turbines are running and operating at a very high voltage like 3.3 kilovolt 6 kilovolt sometimes 11 kilovolt and all so and that sensors the tra instrumentation transmitters whatever is the in season the safety instrument system and basic process control system they operate at a level of 24 volts only. So, these two cables shall be kept laid in a separate cable tray with enough distance between them. Otherwise, the electromagnetic interference can have an impact on the measurement. So, less loss of data communication. So, adequate communication with uh, adequate care with communication fiber optic ethernet cabling to be laid in separate cable trays. Adequate care to be given while uh, putting these cables and they have to lay in uh, different cable trays not mixing with the uh, um, power cable like 3.3 kilovolt 3.3 kilovolt 6 kilovolt 6.6 kilovolt and uh, 11 kilovolt that kind of higher voltage bearing cables and this signal cables cannot run together programming error propagated to two independent protection layers there is any programming error in the logic solar application program it may impact the actual logic to be performed so it is always ideal to have two different type of processors for the uh, basic process control system and a safety instrumented system some manufacturers provide uh, same type of processors which can use for safety instrumented system as well as basic process control system but internally the programming techniques may be different so as far as possible we have to use an different uh, diverse technology diverse architecture so the application program has to be verified thoroughly two wire transmitters require a minimum supply voltage at their terminals in order to work as required the pressure flow differential pressure temperature like that these measurement sensors level these measurement sensors require a minimum operating voltage to be available in their field terminals 
by some plants the field instruments may be far quite far from the control room from where the main power is taken through the electronic modules so the 24 volts which is available in the electronic cord may drop down to 15 volt 14 volt or something like this depending on the type of cable and cable length etc so the voltage is going to be very low and the electronics inside these sensors cannot work so, wherever there is any such issue, we have to have any step up uh, voltage resisting devices or we need to have in between additional barrier. Okay, electrical interference due to high voltage in the surrounding. Prop proper care to be taken while installing sensitive transmitters like nuclear, radar instruments and all. They should not be so close to pumps, compressors operating at high voltage. This is different technology like nuclear level measurement and radar level measurement. They have to be taken much more care and they should not be placed very close to turbines or high capacity pumps which require the yeah, higher operating voltage. So how to overcome all these issues with the common cause failure? So there are some best uh, practices which will help to avoid common cause failure. So recommended to keep independency between protection layers. This BPCS basic process control system is one protection layer and a safety instrument system is another protection layer. So, it is always recommended to keep independency because they have to have independent transmitter, they have to have independent measurement, control, everything. Okay. Allow diversity between protection layers. Actually, as we talked earlier, there can be different technology for each type of system so that the common cause failure can be avoided. Designed to have physical separation between different protection layers. In the engineering design, it has to be taken care to have a physical separation between the different protection layers. So, these are the methods to overcome any common cause failure. Thank you.